Welcome to One Step Now, my YouTube channel where I do all kinds of product reviews. I also help YouTube content creators with their channels. If that interests you, I hope you will subscribe and hit the like button so I'll know to make more like this video. Okay, the Mavic Air 2. Look at this. I just got the Fly More Combo from Best Buy, and it's actually a warranty replacement of my previous Mavic Air 2, which I loved very much, but the sensor started to fail. Since I'd purchased the insurance there, it was rather easy to get this replaced. What I did learn, though, is that when you purchase the insurance with the drones there, you redeem the, the insurance when you are redeemed your new drone. So they gave me this drone, which was a store credit of like $1,100. And then I used that to purchase this drone, but in order to have insurance continuing, I had to purchase another $300 insurance plan. So that was really expensive and I didn't expect that. But that's the cold, harsh reality. But the other cold, harsh reality is that this thing is probably gonna break again. I'm operating it in very salty, humid conditions. Jeez, I flew it up through a cloud one time, mistakenly. So I've truly put it to the test. Some days I have it out over the ocean for extended periods of time, so I can't really complain. In this video, I'm going to unbox it. We'll look at all the pieces. I'll give you my experience having owned one of these and flown it for about 200 flights. And you can make your decision what kind of drone you get. I'd appreciate it if you would use the links in the description to go check it out on Amazon. Okay, let's get right into the unboxing. Propellers, more propellers, manuals. It looks like it's all the same since the last one I got. It's kind of nice. I'll take off this kind of stuff. Yeah, we get the controller. I can't wait to fit this on my phone. I got a much, well, not much, but I got a larger phone. And yeah, it'll fit on there, no problem. Nice and solid. Good, it's got the right one on there. Comes with that USB-C connector, and then this will go right in the iPhone, but they also give you one for an Android. I've made the conversion over from the Android to the iPhone 12 now, but this cable just wraps right around on the inside, stores it there, and then this thing closes. The two thumbsticks are on the bottom. They just pop right out, and then you screw them in. So depending on how you like it, some people don't even use the thumbsticks. They just go with their thumbs. I'm going to start doing that. I just like it better that way. Plus the little controller on my last one got a little loose in here. And I think that's because I left the thumbsticks in the stored in the bag, which I would recommend you don't do. I'd recommend you take the thumbsticks out every single time. Okay. So that's pretty good. 
I gotta get these headphones out of the way. By the way, these are great headphones, the Audio Technica. It's super cheap and they sound great. Got a review on those on the channel if you're interested. All right, let's keep looking at this. What do we have here? One battery. Piece of foam. Two battery. Charger. Cable. That's all that's in there. Ah, and this is the charging bank. So it can charge three batteries, <coughs> excuse me, at a time. And the advantage of that is get it all done at once, of course, but the cool way that it charges is that it chooses the one that is most charged to charge first, therefore giving you an, an available battery the quickest, which is really cool and super useful. And you just want to get one battery because you forgot, you forgot to charge them or whatever. Okay, so here we have it. Now I have also a polarized filter lens that I use. I'll put a link to it in the description. But it comes with three filters, I believe. So they're interesting to play around with. Oh, it's, it's taped on here. Oops. Okay. Yeah, the standard sticker stuff. Remove all these stickers because I've already. I don't understand most of that. Uh, charge to activate the battery before first using for the first time. Yep, and that's the third battery. The third battery is already installed. Uh -huh. And you see they have these brushless motors on these high end drones like this, our prosumer drones, whatever. And uh, man, they're so great, but. You want to take care of them carefully. On my last one, I probably should have cleaned it more maybe and just been more careful in the kind of conditions that I flew it in, but I really put it to the to the test many times. A couple more little pieces of sticker. Now, the other thing is since you have to register this drone, this level of drone, you're going to need to put tape the letters on the side here they've got to be visible so i've got the my registration number and i just tape it on the inside here this is where the sd card goes you just put it actually upside down is the way it orients straight in there it's very easy to get in and out i found that to be very easy to use on this side you have the ability to um, transfer data using a standard usb c cable that's also very useful I had to use that a few times actually. Uh, this gimbal guard is very useful. I put it on every time I use it. Uh, pops right off very easily. You get the hang of it at first. It's kind of weird, but um, the gimbal seems to me to be a delicate piece of equipment and I'm keen to be careful with it. For sure. I'm, I always make sure if I handle it at all that I have a nice grip on it so that I don't, you know, force anything or tweak or turn or do anything weird to it that would hurt it. But, oh, it feels good. One of the things that's so incredible about these drones is that they're so stable and the image quality is incredibly good. It comes in three, you know, there's three modes that you can put it in. There's tripod mode, which is like real slow for cinematic shots. There's normal, which is much faster. You can go about, I think about 40 miles an hour in normal mode. And then there's sport, which just flies. But in sport mode, you can actually collide with things because they, yeah, so you have to be very careful. I mean, this does have weight to it. There's consequence to it, but part of it is this battery. So there's the third battery. All right, so I'll get those all charged up. First, there she is, my new drone. If you like these kinds of videos or found this useful at all, please subscribe, please hit the like button. And one more thing, we'll look at what's in the, the old side pouch.
nothing in this nothing in the back pouch but the side the inside pouch has some goodies and i'll show you those and quickly uh, these are the two additional cables for the, uh, I guess, the two other types of phones. This one, it looks like, the, this is the type that you'd use on like a Galaxy or like an a, uh, Android. This one looks like just a USB-C to C one. So I don't know if that's an input cable that could, <clears throat> yeah, that could actually go from the, the data thing. I didn't realize that. This is must be the data cable from the other port. Yeah, and there's another data transfer cable. Again, the USB-C to the regular USB. Uh, this, I believe, is the, is the lens filters. Yeah, that's kind of cool. They give you a set of lens filters, which are very useful. Let's see if I can read them. Yeah, you get the ND16, the ND64, and the ND256, which are various levels of uh, tinting, I suppose you'd say. So that's pretty cool. I need to start playing around with the filters more, for sure. So that's really a useful thing. And then what do we have here? What do we have here? Here's a power bank adapter. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly. Oh, no, I do know what this is. This is where you put your battery onto here and you can use it to charge other things. So it converts your DJI battery, which I wonder, oh yeah, it's totally, there's no juice in this whatsoever, but it converts your, your battery into a charger for other things. That's really cool, especially now because they actually uh, let me keep the uh, additional two batteries that I had, so now I can use that as a charger for other things down at the beach, like my phone. What a treat that is. These batteries look like they're exactly the same as the other batteries that I had, which is good. I'll just check the serial numbers on that and everything first, just to make sure that we're doing same, same, but I can't imagine why it would be different. Okay, so yeah, once again, if you find this useful, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you back at new videos all the time on One Step Now. Thanks for watching.